really, really well now, currently in 12th place. We do know that Emma Pallant, who's on your screen in 8th, will move down that leaderboard once she serves that two-minute penalty. But, of course, Spirig running really, really well. Gold medalist in London, silver medalist in Rio, was on track to head to Tokyo this year. Still has it. Yeah, Spirig, she was fourth out of the water. Very good. 34th yes. after the bike. Very surprising. To be honest, very surprising for Spirig. She's much better than that. She's been all over the place. Fourth, 34th, and now moved up to 12th. One of the toughest, hardest athletes you'll come across just incredible and what I love most about Nicola is she really gives back to the sport she's got her own foundation in Switzerland where she goes around to all the schools teaching kids about sport and fitness and healthy lifestyles and how to set goals and how to be the best you can be she has a series triathlon series that she runs for the children all around the country being a mother of three herself but she's been in the sport for a long long time and she uh, truly is an incredible Incredible athlete. Paula Finley on the right side of your screen. Annie Haug on the left. And we saw the gap was about three and a half minutes. So even with that two minute penalty, it's still been Paula Finley's race. The 31 year old from Edmonton, Canada. Coming in here, our boyfriend Eric Lagerstrom is going to be racing uh, later. Leader out of the swim, there's Lucy Hall, and it, it's just taking its toll now on these athletes. Attrition. This is exactly what Alicia was talking about. You know, the bike takes that much out of you being down in that aero position, riding the speeds that we've seen these women ride today. And some some can handle it, and others it just breaks them. And you normally don't know till the second, third lap of the run, but you know, you can see that she's not comfortable at all. Lucy is not comfortable, she's cramping. And it's predominantly the hamstrings that you'll find, hamstrings and, the, and hip flexors, and they are just angry. The determination to continue on. I think we saw that with Lisa Norton. Here was a, a woman that we know had a calf injury. She was still walking. She continued to walk around the course here. Uh, it's, it's training. It's what all of these athletes have put into this, to get ready for this. And, and we watch... Paula Finley here and we just know that when she said this is the best she's felt in five years we wouldn't have known it until we seen this performance I mean exactly. yes she can tell us that this is the well, best she's felt and you're dead right we haven't got to see we have never we haven't had an opportunity to see how she's going because there's been no racing I mean that's why I was a little hesitant to say Paula is a favorite because I just haven't seen her out there performing in a in an actual race I love the fact that one of her childhood heroes was Terry Fox. If you're not familiar with Terry Fox, he, the reason why I love that so much, he was one of my child. I shouldn't say childhood heroes. He was also one of my heroes. A, a Canadian athlete, humanitarian, cancer survivor. He took off to run across the country in Canada. She looks back, really kind of feeling it now. But I think she's uh, that's the first time ah, I've there seen it. Is. There it is. <laughs> So literally has not raced since this race last year. That's one whole year that Paula Finlay has not been on a, an actual race course. So incredible to think she won Challenge Daytona 2019. As you see, the emotion really starting to show on her face now. To think that we fast forward a year and this is our very next <laughs> She's race. She's looking back again oh, just, in just in case. <laughs> And emotions overcoming her now as she knows what she's accomplished. She has stayed focused for so long and she comes down the final run here. Cannot believe it. And she will be the 2020 PTO champion of Challenge Daytona. Paula Finley from Canada wins again. Well, that was a truly spectacular finish a truly spectacular race from swim through the bike through the run i cannot fault that race at all wow. she's looking back wondering wait a second there's got to be another athlete somewhere there has to be someone close by